Hey guys, it's Isabella and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome. So today we're back with another training and this training is going to help you prevent ACL injuries. ACL injuries are all over the place in women's football and they suck. It's one of the heaviest injuries that you can get and luckily I have never had one. But I strongly believe that is because of these exercises. Over the years I've performed them multiple times a week and it really helped me with my single leg strength and my stability which will help you prevent those ACL injuries because it decreases the chance of collapsing to the inside with your knee or uh, twisting your knee. And that's exactly what we're going to do today to prevent those ACL injuries. So without further ado, let's get training. So the first exercise is going to be clamshells. We're going to perform this with a resistance band. That would be ideal, but if you don't have one, that's not a problem at all. So this exercise is going to help you with that single leg strength and you should feel a burn in the outside of your glute. Now, this exercise is going to decrease the chances of collapsing your knee to the inside or twisting your knee, which will cause ACL injuries. But because we're going to do this exercise, it's less likely that that is going to happen. Next up are the lateral raises. And this is basically the same as the clamshell, but this time we don't bend our knee, but we keep our leg straight. Now, this should even feel like more burn in the outside of your glute. And the goal is the same again. Um, this time I'm going to perform it without a resistance band because this one is a little heavier as well. But uh, what you wanna do is you wanna keep that leg straight. And you want to, if you go down with your knee, you want to, touch the other knee and then go right up and the goal here is to perform it very slowly because that way is going to be the most effective
Next up, we have the single leg lunge rotation. Now, what you do here is you can do it with body weight or you can do it with a weight, what I am going to do. Uh, and the goal here is to step out, rotate to both sides, step back in and go to the other leg. And what you're going to train with this is the sing single leg strength, especially around your quad and your knee, which again is going to prevent collapsing to the inside or uh, twisting your knee. Now we're moving on to the RDL single leg. This especially is going not only to help you with your single leg strength, which is again, preventing collapsing to the inside or twisting your knee, but this is also going to help you with stability, which is extremely important because when you're making movements with quick changes, which is on the soccer field, you want to have great stability to prevent those knees from twisting or collapsing. And the RDL single leg has it all. So that's what we're going to do now.
on to the second to last exercise are the single leg lunge jumps. What you're going to do here, you're going to move into a lunge position and then jump right back up into explosive movement. This is, only, this is going to help you with the explosiveness, your single leg strength and the stability because you're going to land back on one feet and then perform it again. The last exercise is going to be a lateral skaters movement. This is great for stability, which again, prevents collapsing to the inside or twisting your knee. You're gonna grab three cones, you're going to do a lateral movement, then jump onto one foot and then jump right to the other side and, and focus on that stability to really take one jump and not move again. It's really difficult, but it's a really effective exercise to increase that stability and again, decrease the chances of an ACL injury. Now that I've showed you all the exercises, we're going to repeat this pattern two more times so that we had all the exercises three times, 10 times a leg. All right guys, so that was the session. I hope that it will help you prevent your ACL injuries as well. It helped me a lot. And I hope that you know now that two factors are extremely important when it comes to preventing those injuries. First, stability, two, um, single leg strength. I hope it was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and hopefully see you next time. Ciao.